Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. Yes, we're headed all the way back to 1975 to listen to Have a Cigar by Pink Floyd. Really excited to hear this one. Uh, this is the very last song that will complete the puzzle of me hearing this entire album, Wish You Were Here. And I just know that it's going to be one of my favorite Pink Floyd albums at the end of my journey once I've heard everything, if not my favorite. So let's check it out. funky song sounds very different from the last one you know welcome to the machine and i love that contrast but again just another turn in the storyline of this album a great great bass i'm noticing from roger here um very very funky like i said and mixed with the guitar perfect funky uh, duo going on there uh, i guess this is at the party correct they've gone up the elevator now they're at the party with the record executives really interesting concept there and uh excited to check out the lyrics to see what's going on there uh, roy harper he's the guest singer you know really interesting he sounds so much like david in my opinion i was a little worried how it would be because i'm so used to you know the two pink floyd singers well actually the three pink floyd singers and i wasn't sure how it would sound with a guest vocalist of course, uh, Claire Tori is another story because that's such a stylized song, you know, and she's not singing words. But in a normal Pink Floyd song, I was a bit concerned, but, you know, he just fit right in. It wasn't jarring at all. It just fit perfectly with Pink Floyd and with the Pink Floyd sound. So really glad about that. And we can't forget Richard. Uh, I'm noticing some amazing work on the electric piano, I believe, and that's on the right side. So such good playing, such a master at what he does. And he's really shining on the right side of my headphones. So once again, a perfect combination of all their talent. Let's finish it up. <laughs>
Okay then, wow. That part just took me out of my epic David funky guitar solo trance that I was in. I was like, what's happening here? Definitely one of the most bizarre, unexpected, and interesting uh, things that I've ever heard in a Pink Floyd song. That ending right there, you know what I'm talking about. Wow. For a minute I thought my headphones malfunctioned or got unplugged somehow. That was just absolutely bizarre, but wow. Really, really shocked me and surprised me, caught me off guard. Interesting. I uh, love the second half. You get a great guitar solo from David. Perfect as always. And it was a long solo, you know. Nothing like a long David Gilmore solo. You get to enjoy it even more. And he gets to go more places with it. So uh, I also love Nick's hi-hat work in that last section. Went on for a long time and I really appreciated it. So uh, that mixed with Roger's bass lines, you know, he had a really cool bass line going there. And uh, just loved all of it, as always. Great, great song. And uh, can't wait to hear this whole album, you know, straight through to hear how, I mean, such difference between Shine On You, 1 through 9, Welcome to the Machine, Have a Cigar, Wish You Were Here. They all seem very different, but I know when I hear it all the way through, it's going to be a beautiful masterpiece and a cohesive piece. So anyway, going to check out the lyrics now. I'll be right back. So I know the lyrics are basically criticizing the music industry and the executives uh, that run the music industry. I think he's discussing the insincerity and the ignorance of these executives to the art of music. And what's really important, you know, always money in their eyes, always money. That seems to be their main motive, you know, how to make themselves richer, possibly to the point of exploiting the artists, you know, and not giving a you know what about that. Another sad reality that's out there in the world, you know, it's probably always been that way, probably always will be to different degrees, but it's interesting how they gelled those lyrical concepts with such funky, funky music. And again, you can count on Pink Floyd to do interesting things in their work, and this is no exception. So, amazing song. All right, on first listen, I'm going to rate this great song. Five Golden Records. Yes, A slash A plus. Four have a cigar pink floyd 1975 from this most epically outstanding album wish you were here thank you guys all right that's it for today thank you so so much for watching for pink floyd is good any day of the week as you all know anyway don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below if you wish to chat with me or simply to help the channel grow would really appreciate it anyway you take care stay safe stay hydrated and remember to let peace calm and light into your day and night and i'll see you next time in the past mm -hmm.